What is up guys, JimmyJules153 back with another Dreams Logic video. Today we'll be looking at the Doorway Gadget. The Doorway is a gadget that you can put in your game scenes to link them together. When you put this gadget in a scene, it creates an output or an input, depending on what you've got it set to. On the first screen of the tweak menu, we've got the type of doorway that we can set this to. We can set it to an entry, exit, or a two-way door. An entry will look like an arrow pointing towards the scene, and an exit will look like an arrow pointing away from the scene. You can also name a doorway, so you know what it's doing when you go to hook something up to it, but you'll see that shortly. On the next page, we've got the transition style that'll happen when the doorway is activated. We've got the traditional dreamsy look, a dissolve option, a linear wipe, and a hole and a circle wipe as well. We can also change the colour of the transition, so you could for example set this to white and it would dissolve to white rather than black. With the bar below this, we can also change the softness of the transition so the dissolve will look more blurry if we bump this up. We've then got the position direction setting here. Let's say we choose the hole transition. With the current setting, the hole will start in the middle of the screen and expand out. If we were to move this to the right, the hole would start over on the right and expand out from there instead. We can also make the transition track an object. So if we use the same hole transition example and track the puppet in the scene, the hole will start where the puppet is in the scene and expand out from there. It will also move around to track the player if they move. Then finally for this page we've got the wipe timings, which is just how quickly the transition starts and ends. On the last page here we've got the checkpoint option. So if this is turned on and the player activates the door, the player will restart wherever the door leads. We've also got the just spawned output, which will output a pulse when the player spawns from this checkpoint. So we'll go ahead and take a quick look at the doors from within a dream. If I jump into Strike 4s here, you'll get a little glimpse of the update features. You'll see here that the game scene within the dream is out of date compared to the current version. I've got auto update turned on here for this one because it's just my updates, so it's just telling me the update has been applied. You can see that the entrance to the dream is coming in from the left and then headed into the color select screen of the dream. The color select screen then has an exit that leads to the actual game scene. I have a menu at the end of the game that gives you a few options and these just link to different doorways. The again option links to the one more doorway, which leads to the input of a copy of the dream. This is because from what I found, you can't link a dream back into itself. There's another one more output from the copy of the dream leading back into this one. The color change menu option links to the color change door, and this doorway links back into the color select screen. The color select screen will then redirect you back into the game scene after you've chosen your colors again. Then finally we've got the exit doorways on both of the scenes, which basically just leads straight to the exit of the dream, and that ends the game for the player. That's all for this one guys, hope you enjoyed the video, I'll see you in the next one.